People often talk about the two gate forge combination in Protoss versus Protoss, but today I have an absolutely insane discovery slash innovation slash creative interjection. And that is that rather than going for two gate forge proxy, I only proxy a single gate, allowing for a lot more cannons and a lot more fun. Enjoy this episode of the cheesiest man alive. All right, today we're starting out against Strange, a uh, pretty decent Protoss player that usually is very keen on stopping all of my cannon rushes. I actually really struggle beating him with a cannon rush. So I decided to play it slightly different. Rather than going for a two gate forge proxy, I'm going for a single gate proxy. And hopefully this will allow me to still basically, well, get a little bit of, uh, of fighting power on the other side of the map, but also potentially allows me to oh, lock you in, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That isn't how that sentence originally was going to end, um, but it is how it's ending now, most likely. Um, I'm thinking of getting a cyber core over here as well, so I can very rapidly kind of... <gasps> kind of rapidly move into, uh, into basically everything. Um, he is... Oh, wow. He's actually going for it, isn't he? He really is going for it. Um, let's see if I can stop this. Stop him from killing this cannon. That would be kind of huge for me. That would have been very huge for me. It didn't quite work out. Oh, 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 he's trying to go for the surround. That also didn't quite work out. But for him this time, let's see if I can fight this stupid stalker. Um, as mentioned before, I did kind of rush out. Oh, 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 oh. Hold that thought. I did kind of rush out my, um, my cybernetic score. As well as another gas. So we're just going to add more and more cannons. He's, oh, he's not going to have a super battery available. That means that once this battery runs out, he could actually be in some real trouble. I'm going to get an Adept as well. Adepts are usually quite useful. I hope I can get some, like a kill maybe on a Stalker. That would be huge. That would be huge. That is big. That is a very big start indeed. Oh, come on. I, I don't give a crap about... Why would I be attacking the freaking Assimilator out of all things, mate? That makes absolutely zero sense here. Now, if I just kill enough workers, I think I'm going to be in an all right spot, honestly. Um, so I'm just going to continuously attack. Oh, that was a bad non-cancel. Just going to continuously. Oh, what, what was I going to say? Right. Just attack these workers. Get a second gas as well. Cancel this. Ooh, this doesn't feel super great, but perhaps it is good enough. Um, we'll get a one of these at home. I have two adapts right now as well. And I want a robotics facility, I think is what I need right now at home. Just going to not do anything with this. That's what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so he lost one gateway. He hasn't been mining from two gas, but neither have I. Did he start his warp gate? I think he might have started it. I'm about to lose my cybernetic score as well. I'm eventually going to lose this area too. So, yeah, it doesn't look great. I think I should have been a little bit quicker with teching. Oh, he's looking... <laughs> he's so looking for my dude. <laughs> oh, he is so looking for both of my... Uh, for both of my adapts. Now, he might find my gateway with that stalker, or my stalker might find his stalker. You know, it just depends on what perspective you're taking there. Maybe I should have actually started... Um, warp gate on this cyber. No, I don't think I would have been capable of doing anything with it. Never mind. I'm glad I didn't start warp gate on that cyber. It's a weird opener. It's a very weird opener. Okay. He's going for blink. Which is technically... The best case scenario for me because i'm rushing out immortals right at a fairly high pace so that does feel very good he's moving down wonder if i can just go in here i have a feeling that i can't and if i can kill like three four workers that would not be enough actually i think i need more than three four workers don't i yeah i definitely need more he also has his uh, dude out right now his uh his cheeky little nexus i think we're kind of moving into the macro game direction right now i'll add a cybernetic score he's going to take out this this thing i need two immortals that's for sure before anything i'm gonna need two immortals we'll get one sentry at home too so i'm about to lose another pylon at home I'm going to try and replace that preemptively already there's a bunch of stalkers here we'll just send these home as well cut worker production and get a nexus out asap now my follow-up is fairly unclear for me um, I could 
technically go for a, a just straight up immortal all in but those usually kind of suck especially once blink is out already i do have no actually we could do it i'm going to explain why we kind of can do it we we, we can't do do it but wait we're close enough, I think. I think we might be successful. One of the main issues with Immortal Wins against Blink is moving out across the map. Because the moment you move out, your opponent starts base trading. Now, something you can do about this is having a counter attack first or harassing your opponent. It forces a lot of units back home and it makes your move out across the map, um, well, a lot nicer, a lot simpler as well. So this is actually how we're gonna play it. I'll add a second gateway. We'll go up to three gateways i think and i'll start cutting workers at this point already i want one more immortal behind this maybe even two because my warp gate is fairly far away right now at this point like it's not very very close to finishing up at all um so yeah we're, we're probably we probably can get two more immortals um until that until that point hits where we want to move across the map we have this one out these two adepts are super important if we lose those i think our chances of winning this game just go down by an absolute crap ton which is not really what we want he's not getting charged which would be good for him to get he's getting another gate which is okay but not super special like it quick he's probably gonna go there now isn't he unless he didn't see it he has a lot of these dudes doesn't he he has a lot of these dudes. Holy crap. He really does have a lot of stalkers. <clears throat> Alright. I think he's going to try and meet me right now. That that's oh, that's what I would do if I were him, right? I would try and meet me on the map and try and get some damage in. So that's why I'm running around with these um with these adapts. So if he does try and meet me on the map, then I have a counterattack pretty much set up, which is going to be fairly hopefully fairly successful. Oh, here we go. We're going over here. And we just continue. Oh, he actually has an observer there. You see that? That's somewhat interesting. Maybe I can recall this. That would be sick. I have met the enemy. We can clear this, uh, this observer. That would be kind of nice for starters. Okay, he's still trying to find an angle here. That's for sure. I mean... I think eventually he's going to find an angle for a base trade, right? It's really difficult to deny a base trade if you're doing what I'm doing. Um, so maybe we have something here. I mean, he's definitely going to be somewhat stuck now. He'll be forced into uh, to blinking into this. Which Oh, this is a good fight initially. This is a really good fight for me. Okay, this was absolutely perfect, honestly. And I have freaking five immortals as well. And I don't think he was working on getting charged like if he's not working on getting charged i'm not saying we can do whatever but we have basically infinite time like there's no timer on me usually with charge and archons there's a timer on you eventually but that's not the case at all here which is which is sick it's really really quite sick for me um i'm gonna send these stalkers over i hope there's nothing on top of this ramp that would freaking suck that would freaking suck put this in the correct mode uh oh. If he would have blinked forward, that would have been the, the play of a lifetime, honestly. We're just moving forward. He went for uh, disruptors here, as you can see. You're not paying attention. He's listening to me, and you can't see it. Um, oh. That means that now there's a bit of a timer on me. I like that call. It's also adding more and more zealots, which I also like that call. That was really poor control. Oh, that was even more poor control. I think now we've probably lost the game. I wonder how far ahead he was after that early game. It felt like his defense should not really be viable. If I have a slightly closer gateway. Maybe get a couple more workers. I think I should have gotten more workers quicker. At this point, I should have realized, hey, this ain't working no more. You know, cut the losses and then just tech into whatever while I'm up in workers. He does have the advantage of more stalkers, and I'm gonna lose a lot of structures with suck, which sucks. But I could have had way quicker tech than him, and because I didn't do that properly, I think that actually might have lost me the game. So that's a little bit frustrating, but it's a lesson for the next game. Get another game against the Protoss, and once again also on Ancient Cistern, which really is, I don't say my least favorite map, but the rush distance is relatively long. So. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not my favorite map for doing this type of stuff, that's for sure. Maybe building it on the left side, though, isn't actually that optimal. I'm just a little bit annoyed that I have to walk so far. Um, we're just going to build it over here. Last game, I feel like my Zealot was just a, just a, a fraction quicker. It, it, that would have helped so much in defending my high ground cannon. I, I did like the way the rest of the build played out. Like I'm just, I'm just kind of thinking about it. Like, hey, was there anything more I could have done? Did I take my gas too fast? Maybe I just didn't have enough cannons, and maybe taking the gas is only necessary once I see him, my opponent, kind of, you know, tacking into something else. Um, we'll wait a couple of seconds to go in because I don't want to be spotted by a gate scout. So the gate scout should be out at this point. I mean, if he's still walking across in his own natural right about now, that would be. That would show that my opponent is a bad player. It would tell very little about me and a lot about him. At least that's what I like to think. Um, <laughs> we're gonna... What, what else do I... I actually... Yeah, I'm just gonna get a gas. I think I suck it. Maybe the cybernetic score should be late. Like, I'm, I'm getting so many workers anyway. And I think having such a quick gas actually does offer some value. Look how difficult it is to build on this map in this particular position. Look, I can't see anything. This is super frustrating. Oh, piss off. High ground, high ground, high ground, high ground, high ground, high ground, high ground. This feels good. This feels really kind of good. No? Oh, I'm so insanely good at this game. It's like you're watching a professional play. How does he keep... How does he keep getting away with it? No one knows. Oop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> What's up, baby? Oh, yeah. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is, this is exactly how I want to be doing things, but... I mean, it's also not the end of the world, right? Um, we can definitely start attacking something over here. We cancel that. That scares me a decent amount. We'll get a cybernetic score as well. Or, a, sorry, a second gateway as we uh, attack this building. Or this, this little pylon, so stalkers can pop out. It's really important stalker doesn't pop out. Stalker did not pop out. Noise. Uh, hello, why are they attacking? Why is this assimilator so darn attractive to these cannons? Like, what is up with that, huh? Okay. Now, the one thing I really want to do right now is make sure that I have money for another Nexus, because I think I might lose my main base. And if I have another Nexus available, that would be really cool, obviously. So I'm just kind of... Ooh. Ooh. Ba, 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 da, da. Okay, more gas mining would be sick. I mean, he's just losing a lot of re uh, not research time, what you call it. A lot of uh, mining time here, which is good for me too. And now, if he has no Nexus anywhere, he's in trouble. So I'm just going to try and lose these. I really want to block this, actually. I don't want him to leave me. I'm just going to attack my own pylon here. See? Yeah, I, I knew this was gonna happen. Okay, uh, now you can attack this again. What's that? A zealot? Just a zealot, really. Okay, now the rest of the army shows up. Makes some sense. Okay, I'm just gonna move across the map, I guess. Do I have enough stalkers to to really get going? I should have not let this finish, I just realized. I'm just gonna mine some more resources. I need one more stalker, probably. If I just get one more stalker, I think I'm golden. Five st five stalkers is probably enough, but six stalkers is definitely going to be enough. So where are you, chief? Huh? You want to tell me or no? Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to mine this now. Six stalkers, okay. Where are you? You're going to get a chrono? I mean, you must have the nexus here then. Yep, yeah, there we go. Is there a... So there's nothing else here. Is it just one one void ray and that's it? I think it's just one void ray and that's it. I'm just gonna wait for one more one more little stalker. Surely. One more stalker and I win this game. I can feel it. I, so what he's gonna try and do right now is he'll try and catch me, but he can't catch me. I don't think he can at least. Oh. Two. Three. I lose one stalker and he loses his void ray. I think we win the game then, huh? I think unless he has no nope. <laughs> See we learn from our mistakes. This feels not bad. One gate people keep telling me well oh, two gate forge is so good, but one gate forge allows way more cannons, way more flexible tech options as well. 
You still have the Zealots that can deny the mining of your opponent at a very high pace and defend your cannons. This is pretty much a perfect game. And no GG as well on top of that. The ultimate build. Seems like the only people that are on the ladder today are me, Strange, and another <laughs> park of Protoss. Free, you're just getting PvP into PvP into PvP. Um, I don't really feel like cannon rushing again. I kind of prefer just uh, going for something else. In this case, we'll, well, we'll, play, we'll play a proxy robo build order here. I'm genuinely a big fan of the proxy robo. It is one of these build orders that has many paths. You know, there's a... It's like when you go to a hiking trail. I'm not sure if some, maybe some of you have never been outside. That's possible. But if you have been outside and you go to like one of them, you know, these hiking places, you, often it's like a hiking hub, you know? You have one place and there's like three or four different trails. And you can follow the, the signs. There will be like a blue trail and a, a red trail, and a bit more mountainous maybe, and like the black trail, uh, which may be a little bit longer. Um, and at the end, you always come back to the same place, which is the win. It's it's the same with the proxy robo. There's very many different trails. Like the proxy robo kind of starts at this at this at this hop, and in the end, you win with the build because it's freaking unbeatable. I'm going to show you how to do it, and I'll I'll, I'll guide you through these paths. So, one of the most important things with proxy robo is its location. Where are you putting it? Now, I personally like a location that is a little bit further away, a bit hidden as well and not for the reason that you might think i don't like it further away because i'm very afraid of stalkers killing it despite that being a realistic possibility no i like to put it further away because very often i pick the the proxy robo trail that leads to a two base follow-up you know i contain my opponent my opponent like it doesn't it doesn't necessarily hold but stays alive on one base but i just have a faster nexus and i can go for like a blink stalker follow-up attack basically that is that is what very often happens for me. So that's why I like to have it a bit further away because then I can continue immortal production for a bit longer into the game. If I have it right, right next to my opponent's natural, that's going to be harder, of course. Now, oh, Strange actually, oh, ooh, that's a very, what is that? Oh, okay. Oh, that's not good for you, is it, buddy? That's really not good for you. Um, Strange is known to build pylons in people's main bases. So I'm just gonna, you know, check that out and make sure that there's no pylon in my main base. Uh, would be sad to lose to. So there's no pylon in my main base. Just gonna check for where the probe is because he doesn't know what I am proxying and I don't have a hurry to go across the map because I saw that he opened with a sentry. I don't really need map control against this, like, at all. Um, the only thing that I really do need is... Well, what actually do I really need? I no, honestly not a whole lot. I just want to get an immortal out. I want to get a, uh, a, a a prism and then probably a second immortal. Oh, this is important. This is actually kind of important because then I know there's no presence on the map for him anymore, which is really nice. Now I can do whatever I want. So uh, I, I want his scout to disappear. That is kind of vital for me, honestly. Um, Wait, where did my probe go? That just built something. Oh, it's patrolling over here. That's stupid. We'll follow this up with a with another immortal, or we can delay that immortal and get a way faster nexus. And that's actually actually what we're going to be doing. So delay that immortal, get a faster nexus, and then I can get workers or I can cut workers. We'll cut workers here. It's a little bit safer. I love that move out of my opponent. He was very attentive there to what was kicking off. Now the fact that he doesn't have a full wall actually kind of works in my advantage temporarily until wait what i for sure thought he was gonna go to get his own uh his own robo but he's not getting his own robo at all and as a result here um we're actually feeling pretty okay now i think okay we're killing this i think this was really good for me until this happened come on oh wait there, we have one more on the way accidentally I mean, we have a lot of workers, though, don't we? Die, 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 die! He actually survived with two. You can't be serious. Okay, well, we don't have to be on this side of the map anymore right now. Like, we really don't. Now, what did he just attack? I'm not sure what he just attacked. Uh, all I do know is that I want to kill these bad boys. And he killed a bunch of my workers, which is super frustrating. But, oh my god, this is super frustrating. This actually is super frustrating. Can I get one more immortal? Make sure that it pops out on the correct side. 
and continue. I mean, I don't need that much gas. I have a lot of gas still in, you know, still in store, so that's nice. Just gonna make sure that I pick this up. You can be serious. He comes in. Oh my god, you actually can be serious. Am I gonna lose a game like this? Am I really gonna lose a game because uh, an immortal got stuck and I'm a complete idiot? Yeah, I think I will. Oh my god, this is why setting rally points is important. I'll explain this after the game for the people that are not aware. Because there might be some people that are unaware of how rally points work, of course. Then I, I will explain it. I already had a guy patrolling that general area. Uh, okay, it's not over over yet, but it looks freaking bad for me right now. Uh, I'm just gonna patrol a... Well, maybe just build a pylon over here in my main base. Oh, well, maybe I should have done that a little bit quicker. I think he might be expanding behind this as well. No, 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 I don't want to lose that. It's really important I don't lose that. Die. Thank you, good sir. Thank you for dying. That is so extremely nice. Thank you for dying, my friend. Well, that was less nice. Um, still gonna have one over here. I think it's... I don't actually know if I'm winning or not, which is really weird. I think the funny thing here is, is that I would be super winning if I had not messed this up. If I not had messed up that, that immortal on the wrong side, basically. Or if those adepts had not reached my, my main base. This was a big move for me. Because he's now forced back just a tiny tad. And as a result, I can move my own adepts around and hopefully actually deal some damage. That would be super sick. Maybe I also... Oh, good lord, I don't want to be in that thing at all. Maybe I can also actually get some uh, some damage done with this. And get some more dudes out. Did he blink forward? No, he blinked out. I was afraid of him blinking forward and then just straight up killing me. It's one of my one of the things that I'm most afraid of, I think. I mean, by the time I arrive, he should have units at home. I really should not be capable of, of dealing any real major damage. But maybe if he ain't paying attention and... I can do something? It's hard to say sometimes. Oh, he's definitely not paying attention right now. That's three. That's four. He blinked in? The madman. Oh, if I had force field that well, that would have been huge. I didn't force field that well, so it was less huge. It's actually kind of sad for me. Um, you think I can do this? I don't think I can. If this works out, though, it's a sick move. It actually is a baller move. Oh my god. That really was a baller move. If that would have worked out even better for me, that would have been even sicker. But it still was fine. I mean, I killed a sentry, denying his ability to, to go into my main base, most likely. Unless I'm completely mistaken. I'm probably going to follow this up with a uh, Blink Stalker all in. To stick with the all-in theme. This has been a sad game, though. Like, I, I, I oh. can't wait to tell you all about how hard I messed this up. Okay, this is this is good out of him. This is real nice. I appreciate this one. Oh my god, I appreciate this one a lot. I'm gonna lose absolutely everything. Nah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I feel like my hotkeys are not functioning. Jesus. Hopefully here either, but whatever. Um, well, that was a pretty terrible trait for me. Let's face reality. Um, I don't quite have Blink yet. He just blinks in like a madman. He is really wild, isn't he? Is he gonna blink in, though, way? I don't think this really does too much for him anymore at this point. Like, I think he's made his point with the harassment. At this point, like, killing one or two extra workers doesn't really weigh up against the potential loss that he can have and just the ability that I have to potentially kill him as well I'm just gonna move in over here he's gonna recall he'll be forced into it yeah it's possible that he decided to get a another base but it's also possible he decided not to get another base and then he's on two base then my push probably will not work. I do. We'll see. Even if he's on three base, like if he's over here, that would be hard. If he has a battery, that is. Oh, here we go. That was pretty far from ideal. I'm gonna be real with you all. That's not entirely how I imagined my the start of this fight to go. 
Um, <laughs> get one more of these. <laughs> we only have one immortal left. Ah, this is pain. This is pain. Uh, my production is probably superior, but we don't actually have that much income. So that is actually not... I mean, in theory, I have, I have more gateways, but I can't produce quite enough. I don't think so, at least. Some long distance mining going on, which could just be close distance mining, I think. Okay, well, this is a win for me, that's for sure. Piss off, mate. I'm not sure what you're doing here. Oh, he's actually gonna go for it. Two probes for a stalker. It sounds like a bad trade. Not quite sure what I just killed there, but it'll also look nice for me. Hello, where is my prism now? I do not quite know. Oh, yes. He, he has more immortals than I do at this point. That is what we call not very good for me. I mean, we're we're absolutely dead at this point, right? There's there's no doubt in my mind about that. Did kill that, but yeah, we're dead. He, ah! So two major mistakes were letting those adapts in, and then the stupid immortal just not having it at home really freaking sucks for me. So it will pop out where it's rallied; otherwise, it will pop out on the bottom, um, from what I'm aware. So in this case. Because I didn't put a rally point. If I put the rally point over here, it just pops out on the correct spot. But because I didn't rally, it just pops out here on the bottom. And it's beautifully tucked in this position. And I think without this, yes, I'm slightly down in workers. But my Nexus is so much faster. And I, if I have two Immortals, and I have the ability with two Adepts to still go across the map, I think I actually have a completely fine setup here. I really do believe that. But now I lose one Immortal for free. I'm forced into building the Robo at home. I think this is just all altogether pretty freaking terrible. And I lose the game. All right. That is going to be it for me today. I hope you did enjoy this episode. I hope you learned a new cannon rushing tricks. If you did, don't forget to like, but subscribe to the channel. And I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Adios.